Later this year, something extraordinary is about to happen. A bold California startup, Vast Space, will join forces with SpaceX to launch a demonstration mission for what could become the first fully operational commercial space station in history. It's not just another launch, it's the beginning of a new era in human spaceflight. That demo mission will pave the way for the real thing next year, Vast's Haven 1 station. And just a few years later, the company plans to go even bigger, building a next-generation orbital platform designed to eventually replace the aging International Space Station. So how close are VAST and SpaceX to turning that vision into reality? And what could this partnership mean for the future of commercial space and international cooperation in orbit? This is the story of how two private companies are reshaping the way humanity lives and works in space, right here on TechMap. With the International Space Station nearing the end of its life, retirement is expected around 2030. Private companies are racing to fill the void. One of the frontrunners is VAST, which plans to launch its first space station module Haven 1 atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket no earlier than May 2026. Before that milestone, however, the company has a crucial test to complete. A smaller demonstration version of the spacecraft called Haven Demo is expected to launch later this year. The schedule is ambitious, and the company appears determined to stay on track. On October 18th, VAST announced that mission simulations for the Haven Demo are now underway at its Mission Control Center. These simulations serve as full rehearsals, allowing engineers and flight operators to test how the control system's software and hardware interact under mission-like conditions. It's a critical step in verifying that the spacecraft and the people running it are ready for the real thing. Simulations don't mean launch readiness, of course. Several rounds of testing and review still stand between VAST and liftoff, but they do mark one of the final phases of preparation. Once launched, Haven Demo will evaluate a range of flight systems from radiation-hardened computers and sensors to propulsion and communications, helping the company refine designs for Haven 1. If VAST meets its current target, Haven 1 could become the first fully operational commercial space station in orbit. Progress appears steady. Earlier this month, on October 11th, the company reported that the Haven 1 flight article has been painted following completion of its primary structure. The next steps include installing major components such as the hatch and the module's signature domed window. After integration, the spacecraft will undergo pressure and load testing in Mojave, California essential procedures to confirm it can withstand the rigors of launch and safely sustain astronauts once in orbit. From there, Haven 1 will move into its final stages of preparation, bringing VAST one step closer to realizing its vision of a privately operated space outpost. VAST's first space station will be small, intentionally so. The single module design serves as a proof of concept meant to demonstrate that a privately built orbital outpost can operate safely and support human crews for extended periods. Haven 1 is expected to remain in orbit for about three years, hosting up to four short missions. Each would last roughly two weeks and carry a crew of four astronauts. Physically, the module is compact. Measuring 4.4 meters, 14.7 feet in diameter, Haven 1 will offer a habitable volume of just 45 cubic meters, 1,500 cubic feet about the interior space of a city bus. That's roughly one-eighth the volume of the ISS, whose pressurized sections total 388 cubic meters. Inside, VAST aims to make the environment efficient, yet comfortable. The station will feature a 1.2-meter, 4-foot domed window for Earth views, a fold-out communal table private sleeping quarters for each astronaut and high-speed internet provided by SpaceX's Starlink network. It's not designed to be a luxury hotel, VAST CEO Max Hoyot said, but we believe that in every environment, if you feel better, if you can rest better, and if you can communicate better, 
then you can work better. After Haven 1 reaches orbit, its first crew will follow a few months later aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft as part of the Vast One mission. Once docked, Dragon will remain attached to the station effectively serving as a second module and backup habitat. For its initial operations, Vast plans to build on research already underway aboard the ISS, particularly in pharmaceutical development and microgravity manufacturing. The company envisions Haven 1 as a focused, streamlined platform for scientific and industrial work smaller and simpler than the ISS, but designed to prove that commercial space stations can deliver meaningful research outcomes without the scale and cost of government-led programs. VAST's decision to partner with SpaceX for its first space station mission was hardly a surprise. Few companies have as much experience in human spaceflight, and the relationship between the two firms runs deep. Many of VAST's senior engineers and managers are SpaceX veterans, which has helped foster an unusually close collaboration. From the start, the two teams worked side by side to ensure Haven 1 would integrate seamlessly with SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft from structural interfaces to life support and docking systems. SpaceX, after all, has become the world's most reliable provider of crewed launch services. The company remains NASA's sole US-based partner for transporting astronauts to and from the ISS, and Dragon has accumulated a strong track record across multiple missions. The spacecraft's autonomous docking system has been tested repeatedly in orbit, making it a natural fit for VAST's smaller, privately operated outpost. Beyond launch and transport, SpaceX will provide a range of support for VAST's missions. The company is responsible for astronaut training, including instruction on Falcon 9 operations crew, Dragon procedures, emergency protocols, and simulated dockings with Haven 1. During flight, Dragon will do more than just carry the crew, it will supply power communications cargo and additional research capacity while attached to the station. Connectivity will also come via SpaceX's Starlink network, providing high-speed internet access for both mission operations and crew communications. Looking ahead, SpaceX plans to conduct two additional Dragon missions to the ISS to support VAST's participation in NASA's private astronaut program should the company be selected. These flights would give VAST valuable experience managing crewed missions in orbit and strengthen its working relationship with NASA. That experience could prove critical as the company prepares for future stations, including its proposed Haven 2, and seeks a competitive edge in Phase 2 of NASA's Commercial LEO Destinations program. For SpaceX, the partnership with VAST offers benefits of its own. Each Haven mission represents another opportunity to showcase the company's Falcon 9 rocket and Crew Dragon spacecraft in a high-profile, commercially-funded role, something few other organizations in the world can attempt. Successful operations for private stations could help SpaceX attract additional customers, including NASA and emerging commercial partners, looking to send both people and payloads into orbit. The collaboration also expands the reach of Starlink SpaceX's global broadband network. Haven 1 will rely on Starlink for high-speed communications, giving the company a chance to demonstrate its internet service in a new, more demanding environment orbital operations. It's an experiment that could open new markets for Starlink and strengthen SpaceX's position not only as a launch provider, but as a complete space infrastructure company. In essence, the arrangement is mutually reinforcing. VAST gains a trusted launch and operations partner with proven human spaceflight experience, while SpaceX cements its role at the center of the growing commercial space ecosystem. The relationship is expected to extend well beyond Haven 1. VAST is already planning a larger follow-on station Haven 2, which could serve as a more capable, longer-term replacement for the International Space Station. 
Haven One is designed to prove the company's technical and operational credibility, while Haven Two represents the real goal, a commercial outpost that might one day anchor NASA's post-ISS presence in low Earth orbit under the agency's commercial LEO destinations program. In many ways, Haven 2 is a scaled-up, NASA-certified version of Haven 1, designed to be modular expandable and built piece by piece in low Earth orbit, much like the ISS before it. If VAST secures a NASA commercial LEO destinations contract in 2026, the company plans to launch the first Haven 2 module aboard a Falcon Heavy rocket targeting operational status by 2028. The initial module will measure about 5 meters longer than Haven 1 and nearly double its internal living volume while retaining the same core systems that will have already been proven in orbit. That first 16-foot-long unit is only the beginning. VAST intends to follow with three additional modules over the next two years, each built to the same efficient, cost-effective design. Together, they will expand the station's usable space, strengthen life support and power capacity, and add new facilities for research and manufacturing. Each new section will offer enhanced payload accommodations while preserving a consistent modular architecture, a deliberate strategy to simplify, assembly, reduce costs, and accelerate deployment. Although Haven 2 is a commercial venture, VAST is designing it with international collaboration in mind. That cooperative spirit, after all, was central to the success of the ISS. For more than two decades, the ISS has provided scientists with a one-of-a-kind platform to conduct experiments in microgravity. VAST hopes to carry that legacy forward through Haven 2's dedicated laboratory module, the Haven 2 Lab, equipped with advanced facilities for microgravity research and in-space manufacturing. With greater volume and power capacity than Haven 1, the lab will support larger payloads and more complex instruments offering a flexible environment for scientific and industrial users alike. Between 2030 and 2032, VAST plans to add a 7-meter diameter core module and four more Haven 2 units for a total of eight Haven 2 units, bringing the station to full operational capability. When complete Haven 2 will feature a sweeping 12.5-meter wide cupola window one of the largest ever installed in orbit, offering astronauts panoramic views of Earth and deep space. Each of the station's modules will also include individual 1.1-meter viewing windows for a total of 16 observation ports. Externally, Haven 2 will carry the hardware necessary for serious orbital operations, a robotic arm for payload handling berthing ports, for visiting spacecraft, an external payload airlock, and a dedicated airlock for spacewalks. NASA took a decisive step toward the future of low Earth orbit in 2021 when it launched the commercial LEO Destinations program. The initiative marked a fundamental shift in the agency's approach. Rather than building and operating its own successor to the International Space Station, NASA will instead become a customer purchasing crew, time research access, and services from privately built and operated stations. Vast Space is one of several companies vying to fill that role with its Haven 2 station, but the field is becoming increasingly crowded. Axiom Space Blue, Origin, and Northrop Grumman are each developing their own ISS replacement concepts, creating a highly competitive environment that promises to drive innovation in design, manufacturing, and orbital operations.